Hey Topher, do you know why I picked you up today? No, not really. Where are we going? Well, it's kind of a surprise. We are going to meet your mom somewhere. And she said it was something that you really, really like. Really? I don't know what to do. Yep, she's going to get you something and she actually wanted me to help. So we're going to go there together and you're going to be totally shocked. Wow, I can't wait. How far is it? I don't know, it's only about maybe know, five or six minutes away. Wow, that's close. Can I get my hunter brother to us? I really can't do that. But, uh, you know. So anyway, while I got you in the car on the way there, your mom wanted me to kind of talk to you about something. Okay, what, what's your mom talk to me about? So what's going on with your dad? You mentioned several times that he's kind of scary. Well, he does look as real as scary. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, he gets kind of angry and he starts yelling and stuff and then Sometimes I think he's gonna hit me. Wow. Uh, has he ever hit you before? No, but he's come close a couple times and I'm afraid he's gonna do it. Well, hopefully that won't happen, Topher. Your mom's you know, pretty protective over you, so I don't think she'll let that happen. But why do you think he gets so angry like he does? I don't know. He feels selling that he's stressed out at work. And that he's tired all the time. And also, he's always... Always what, Topher? Well, I don't know if I should tell you this because I don't want him to get mad at me. Topher, you know I'm not going to tell him that you told me this. Is there something you need to talk about? Well, I am mean, Well, he's always drunken. Drinking? Drinking what? Well, he always drinks beer, like, all the time. And, well, he come home from work, and then he'll sit down, and he'll open the beer. And then on the weekends, he wants to do more beer. Sometimes I think that's why he doesn't hang out with me, because he just wants to drink his beer. Well, that's a possibility. I mean, sometimes when people do that, that's how they relax. It's not good for them, but... That could be what it is. Hold on, let me turn down the radio a little bit so I can hear you better. So, the times he gets angry, is it mostly like when he's been drinking the beer? Well, I don't so, because like in the mornings he's not like that, but at no time, he always gets angry and just says leave him alone because he's tired and stuff. I'm sorry to hear that, Topher. You think that could be why he doesn't like hang out with you? Well, I thought that's what it is. Well, then you know it's not because he doesn't like you. It's just that he's drinking that beer. Well, that, bro. How come he likes beer more than me? Oh, Topher. If he has an addiction, that's kind of what addiction does. So. Does he ever have a lot of friends come over and stuff, and they kind of drink beer together and hang out? Well, that happens a lot of times, especially when my mom goes out with her friends. Then my dad will have a lot of friends come over, and they'll just hang out, they get really loud, and they'll jump beer and watch the game and stuff like that. Wow, so what are you doing when this is going on? Well, I try to hang out, but... But a lot of times they tell me that I can't hang out with them. So I just go upstairs in my room. And then, well, there's been a couple of times where this one gal who, like, comes upstairs and then comes to my room to talk to me and tells me that I can come downstairs and hang out with them. And then if I do, then my dad just yells and tells me to go back upstairs. Well, that's kind of confusing. So, when they're hanging out and they're drinking and doing all this stuff, this guy, that when he comes upstairs to talk to you, like, does he want to hang out with you at all? 
I don't know, I think he does because this house man can come downstairs. And then there was one time where he was in my room talking to me for like 10 minutes. And I don't think anybody realized he was not even down there. Really, that's kind of scary, right? I mean, so your mom was out and your dad's drinking and hanging out with these guys. And one of these guys comes upstairs to talk to you for like 10 minutes and your dad doesn't realize he's up there? Wow, that's kind of kind of scary, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Did this guy ever talk to you about anything sexual or try to do anything to you? Well, he makes jokes sometimes, that, like sexual, sexual jokes and about girls and stuff like that. And sometimes it's fun, but sometimes it's uncomfortable. Yeah, that could be a dangerous sign. You know, Topher, when parents are drinking and they're doing drugs and they're having parties, they can't really keep an eye on you. And so that can put you at risk of, of other people actually hurting you or predators coming into your house and doing stuff to you. And parents need to realize that if they're drinking and doing drugs and having people around that you could be in danger. Well, I don't know. I told my mom that my dad has people come over, but she says that it's her pal that she knows everybody. Yeah, still kind of dangerous though, but you know, maybe you can talk to her about that. Well, I'm a little bit world because it is kind of uncomfortable for me. Well, that is one of the ways that predators get to kids. It's usually somebody that the family knows. So that's a good possibility. You might want to talk to her about it. Okay, I will. Now, where are you going? Well, we're just about there. The surprise is about to happen. Oh, whoa, 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 I can't wait. Oh, wait a minute, is that where we're going, Mount Delaire? It sure is. Wow, I can't believe it. Oh, 